episode of Peeps, Peeps and Kevin, Kevin in the Kitchen Cod. All right, we're hungry for something besides dessert. I realize all these have been dessert before this, but um, we're actually going to do like an actual um, uh, uh, dinner today. So mm. we've got some nice fresh cod, and um, so we have some nice previously frozen cod. Fresh, previously frozen, same thing. Um, so, the first step, as always, is to find one glass, fill it uh, with ice, and then uh, whiskey to taste. Um, you know, I prefer uh, the nice, cheap Windsor Canadian whiskey. $12 a handle. You can't beat that price. Step two, make sure your fish is dead. If it's still swimming, it's too raw. Okay? So, where's the fish we have? You're going to need to turn the camera around. Where is it? Here. Oh. So, you're going to thaw your fish out, and you're going to want to drain the water off and put it on some paper towels so it's drier because that lets your sauce stick to it. You don't want wet fish. You don't want wet fish. And it lets you get like a nice pan sear, which is good because nobody likes soggy fish. It's gross. Um, I'm doing a crusted cod tonight. So I'm going to start with a garlic clove. You probably want to like just flip it so people can see what I'm doing. Like, but... So smash your garlic. Um, if you're not lazy, you can use a knife. And if you are lazy, you can use a garlic press. I have a super fancy garlic press from my mom. Because super fancy kitchen gadgets is kind of what my mom does. That's not a lot of garlic. I know. Like, I'm from the Koreas, where they use all the garlic. Like, that's not a lot of garlic. I know that's not a lot of garlic. But, also, I would like to point out that I have a food sensitivity to garlic, and I'm not supposed to eat that much, even though it's really delicious. So, so we should not go to Korea. We should not... Well, we can go to Korea. Also, this is Sarah's favorite knife that I am not allowed to use. That was a wedding gift from our friend Mike. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Mike! So... There's um, the garlic and the... So, we're using backwards camera Jeff Nathan's gluten-free panko seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, the gluten-free means that they're made out of potatoes. They're kosher for Passover. Ah, oh, crap, that doesn't go there. Um, don't put the breadcrumbs in your baking pan. Put them in your shallow dish for coating your fish. It's shallow because it thinks all women should be blonde. So I'm going to use about three quarters of a cup. Um, gluten free or not, these are the best bed crumbs I've ever tasted. Like they're so delicious and flavorful. Um, I'm going to put my garlic clove in there. I'm going to put the zest of a lemon in there. Damn it, not lemon. You like lemon sometimes. I don't think you don't. I... Is that true? Yes. It's true. Do I like things and I don't know I like them? We're going to start a list while I zest the lemon. If you don't have one, you should get a microplane zester because they're amazing and they make like perfect, perfect ribbony little bits of zest, but also you can grate like chocolate and uh, parmesan or other hard cheeses or like the tiny whole nutmegs. Or if you're a little more adventurous, you can get a micro exciting zester. They're a lot more fun. Anyway. Get it? Micro plain zester? Micro exciting? Yeah? All right. Never mind. You were almost funny. That's literally what Kevin Jackson just said. It's because Kevin's smart. But see, it makes like perfect powdery lemon zest with none of the gross pithy stuff. Um, things that you like that you don't think you like. Uh, Kevin does not like grits, but he likes scrambled corn. Those are two different things. Which are exactly like grits, but not the instant kind from the Waffle House that are lukewarm. Uh, Kevin hates Brussels sprouts, but he likes My Little Pony cabbages. That's true. Um, Kevin hates tomatoes and everything, except for salsa, bruschetta, Italian food, uh, fried green tomatoes. Wait, did I actually have those? Yep. Because I still haven't seen the movie. Uh, no, wait, I did see the movie. movie. That was good. It had the lesbians. You have not seen uh, Steel Magnolias. Steel Magnolias. Can you believe he hasn't seen Steel Magnolias? 
Mr. I managed a blockbuster and I've watched every movie in the whole world. I never said world. every movie, I just said every good movie. You had never seen Red Dawn, woman. And it was terrible. Red Dawn was awesome. Shut up. Red Dawn Shots was great. fired, Kevin. Uh, so... Basically all you're gonna do is dump the zest in. You're gonna skin it a lemon. You're gonna skin a lemon and cut it skin up really fine. And then you're gonna put it in these potato crumbs. Uh, with the garlic. With the garlic. Um... Mixed by hand. Mixed by hand, because it's a little funky and you don't want it to clump. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We get the Parmesan out? I guess this would be good with Parmesan. Where the hell's the Parmesan? In the cheese drawer. There's have a, a cheese drawer? container. Or the Romano. The right. fact that we have a cheese drawer is news uh, to on me. The right. on, on the right. On the right. We're looking. Containers. Round container. Oh, there. Oh, that one says Parmesan. Yeah. Oh, but it's like almost empty. It's okay. We don't need that one. Okay. Yay, Parmesan! Everything's better with cheese on it. That's true. Except maybe ice cream. Can you imagine ice cream with cheese? Gross. Well, I'm just... Well, you're the one that said on. everything's better with... Hold on. What if it's cream cheese or mascarpone? Then it's better. Are those kinds of cheeses? Those are... Cream cheese? Is cream cheese a kind of cheese? I thought it was like a... You could make... Take any kind of cheese and make it creamy and then it was cream cheese. Are you serious? Is that not... Are you serious? No. Because your, your mouth says no, but your eyes say I'm lying. <sighs> uh, it's like we're making a little cod pie. We could throw some cod in there and then some just nice make a pie. cod pie. Oh, God, I bet there is a recipe for fish pie. That's gross. What's wrong with fish pie? I don't know. Get your whiskey out of my cod. But, no, the whiskey's the most important ingredient in the cod. Okay, so I'm going to dribble, dribble. I'm going to, like, just kind of drizzle a little olive oil over these. If you don't have olive oil, corn oil works just as well. Vegetable oil. You know, pick an oil. I, I, I was actually kidding. I thought that would be, like, weird. Do you know that corn oil is a real food? Yeah, I know that corn oil actually exists. I just didn't think you could put it on fish like this. Like, I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> like, what do you... What do you think you put corn oil on? What? What What do you put corn oil on, if not... The pan before you cook stuff in it? Right. So I'm going to take the cod and put it oil side down in these crumbs. And I'm going to let it sit for a second. And with my non-oily hand, I'm going to dump a little oil in the pan but we're going to bake them in because I forgot about that part. When she says a little, she means a little. Like, like a don't use, spoon. like, three cups. That's... That's bad. Bad. I found that one out the hard way. Olive oil is not a sauce. Olive oil is not a sauce. So I'm just going to coat the top. Because as the fish bakes, um, liquid, like, it's fish liquids, I don't know are going to come out of this, and so then it's just going to make the Fish crumbs. liquids. If there were crumbs on the bottom, it would just make them soggy, and wet bread is really disgusting. So we're not going to do that. And I'm really, like, mashing it into the crumbs. We could have totally had mashed cod. Like, Ugh. like steak and mashed cod. No. No? No. Why not? Because that sounds disgusting. I'm going to take extra crumbs and just put them on top. Because in our family, we like crumbs. They're so crunchy and delicious. They are. For real, like, I put these panko breadcrumbs in with, like, apples and celery and caramelized onions and Italian sausage, and I stuff acorn squash with them, and they're really delicious. I kind of coat them, coat anything with them, and you have... A recipe, basically. Just coat your face with them. Just... Like that. Ow. I simbed you! Um. <laughs> Dave says, olive oil can be a sauce. Add some pesto and it is a dipping sauce. Which, you know, technically correct is the best kind of correct. Oh, God. So. Technically, I'm not pedantic. So. You should have preheated your oven to 400. I did that. Um, and you're just going to pop your cod in for like 15 or 20 minutes until it's done. 
and flakes easily. Um, technically, olive oil can be a sauce, like a dipping sauce for bread, but it's not a very good sauce for fish. Um, one time Kevin made Kevin tacos with olive oil as a sauce, and it was just like chicken... And there was green chili sauce in there, too. And a can of hatch green chilies and, like, a cup of olive oil in tacos. And it was no bueno. I thought it was. But Kevin cooked dinner, and I didn't have to, so I appreciated it, and I love him. Kevin tacos are delicious, right? Yes. Oh, my God, our next peeps in Kevin in the kitchen, you're going to film while I make Kevin burgers. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. Can I wear, like, a respirator for the smell? No, the smell's delicious. Prosser, back me up on this. It smells delicious. Kevin tacos smell like cooking meat and cooking meat. No, makes Kevin really Burgers. Happy. Oh, Kevin Burgers. Kevin Burgers. Yeah, Kevin Burgers would be amazing, right? Peeps and Kevin in the kitchen, Kevin Burgers. That'd be awesome. We can do that. Like, okay, so here's, y- y'all can vote on whether you want us to do uh, Peeps and Kevin in the kitchen, Kevin Burgers. Oh here's, God, here's, here's the, here's the, um, here's the, uh, the, the basic uh, part of that. Okay, so you get a bunch of ground pork, Wait, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. What? It never occurred to me, but we could do a poll on what we should cook next in Peeps mm. and Kevin in the Kitchen. That's true. Okay, so, Peeps and Kevin in the Kitchen, Kevin Burger. You take ground pork, you crumble it up. Why you, are you, you telling him now? You're going to ruin the Kevin Burger episode. Well, because I don't, you can't show him how to do it. There's a difference between telling and showing. I guess they could have the ingredients ready and cook along. It's ground pork with cheap cheese on a, like a Kaiser roll or some kind of bread with barbecue sauce and salt and pepper. Delicious. Delicious. I'm telling you, next time, we're going to do that. But now, we're setting the timer on the microwave. Fish is going in the oven. Bye, fish! Oh, yeah, that's so we'll hot. We'll see you in 15 minutes. Oh, it's so hot. And uh, then, looks like we're also making um, carrots of some kind. Sautéed. Either that or rabbits are coming to visit. I wish there were rabbits coming to visit. Wouldn't that be nice? A crab came to visit today, and I rescued it from the yard with some sticks. And a snake also came to visit, and I thought it was a stick, but then I stepped on the stick, and it cracked, and the stick swam away really fast, so it was... No, the, the, she didn't step on the snake. I stepped on a different stick, and yeah. it scared the snake, which is how I knew it wasn't a stick. Yeah. But it was definitely stick-colored. So, and, you know, remember, if you're going to be outside in the swamp, and you see sticks moving, don't touch the moving stick. But how can I be friends with it? You can't. Danger noodles are not. I forgot they're called good. danger noodles. Yeah, they're danger noodles. All right. So how are we making the carrots? Um, we're gonna cut them up. Well, it looks like we've already done that. I did that. I peeled they them. They seem to be cut up. And I cut them up. Um, I guess I'll probably put a little bit of butter in there. And. And this... by a little bit, she means a French little bit. No, I don't. Um. I lie to you about how much butter goes in things because you think you only like vegetables with lots of butter. So we're going to do that, and they're going to kind of steam while the fish cooks. And I didn't So it's plan... just butter and chopped up carrots? Yeah. That's it? A little it? salt. A little salt? Everything always needs salt. So does your face. I know. Oh, snap. Uh... I didn't plan for dinner very well because nursing school is eating my life and the air conditioning was out at the office and it was like 85 degrees and everything's kind of weird timing wise today and it was raining and Kevin just kind of makes nachos after dinner anyway most nights so whatever. I don't need to make another starch because he's going to eat it anyway. I do like nachos. I know. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. We're done. Okay. We're done. We'll see you next week for, uh, you know, Peeps and Kevin in the Kitchen, Kevin Burgers, or whatever. You know, we might pull you guys and see what you want us to cook, and, you know, because we love you. Bye!